gonna be taking the cheapest flight every day for the next seven days. See, there's this website called Skyscanner that lets you choose everywhere as your destination and lets you filter the lowest possible price. I'm going to be doing this every day for the next seven days to see where I end up. And a very, very good morning, top of the morning, Kish, my world, brand new day, brand new video. I am in the airport here in Paris doing a seven day challenge and it's time to find out my next destination. Here is the departures board, as you can see, and uh, I'm taking the flight that's going at 9.35. So ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, either Bari, Marrakesh or Milano, Bergamo. Yes, three flights going into a different location. Can you guys guess in the comment section below? As you can see, there was Bari, which is in Italy, Marrakesh, which is in Morocco and Bergamo, which is also in Italy. Guess where I'm going, guys? Kish my world. <laughs> okay, I'll show you when I get to the gate. Be guessing in the comment section below. Kish my world. Let's do this. Yes. All right, made it through security, and it's time for the big reveal, guys. The next destination for Kish my world is Milan, Bergane or rather Milano Bergamo. Milano Bergamo is a, a city in Italy. So guys, we are heading to Italy. Yeah man, we're going to Italy next on this flight. One of those countries I absolutely love and uh, it's gonna be my first time in actually Milan, in this city. Yeah, so let's see what's good in Milan. I've been to Rome and other places like Florence, but it's my very first time in Milan. And the weather there is so good. I saw it's like almost 30 degrees right now. So I'm excited for Milan. So guys, let's head over to Milan in uh, Italy and continue the adventure. Seven days, seven cheapest flights. Let's do this. Guys, I gotta say this is the most strange airport I've ever seen. These people here have just arrived, so they are coming into France, and we are here, about to take off. So they leave the plane, and we board it immediately, as you can see. So this guy is welcome to Paris, and for us, and my crew behind me, goodbye Paris. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, top of the morning, brand new country, brand new day, country number four for Kish my world. Remember I'm flying to the cheapest country for the next, for the last seven days. Yeah, so today is actually day number five. I'm even confused, you know. <laughs> I'm, I can tell you man, I feel so tired already. It's not easy waking up, traveling, running to the airports and back. So if you just joined this challenge, welcome. We are traveling to the cheapest country on uh, that we can find in seven days so seven countries in seven days flight to the cheapest country i started off in sofia which is in bulgaria was a, was an amazing amazing country then we drifted off further into london london city another beautiful place after london uh, in the uk we went to country number three which was ireland and we were in dublin the capital after dublin we headed over to paris for the Olympics also from uh, Paris, France. Now we are here in Italy, Bergamo. Yes, Milan actually to be more specific. We are in Milan. So let's see what's good in Milan. And then remember tonight also, we fly to a different country. So keep it locked, keep it locked. It's all surprises, surprises, surprises. Kish my world. So for today, I have uh, a couple of uh, challenges that I need to do. And uh, these are one, I need to drink the national beer of uh, Italy or rather this area this region so we have to try an Italian beer delicacy two we have to try an authentic Italian meal now guys the thing with me is I really don't like pizza and pasta uh, which is like the most Italian meals that you could ever get but uh, this time I have to find a place and uh, definitely try and test it 
and it has to be really really authentic and really nice or otherwise we can find anything else but uh, if we have to do pizza or pasta we'll do it and three we have to say a monument in uh, Milan like that one monumental place that shows you boom you are in Italy you are in Milan so we have to go and look for one with those are the challenges we have to go through today we have to make sure we see all of them and do all of them by the end of sunset when we leave to the airport and fly to the next destination. Excuse me, which is the most Italian food? Cosa? Speak English? Uh, I speak English. Okay, Italian, Italian food, you know? Italia. Italia, food. Which one? Si, questo italiano. Oh, okay, I don't understand. You can ask somebody, yeah? Si. Okay. Guys, I'm trying to find out the most Italian meal in this menu so that maybe we can come back and eat here later but it's a bit difficult to understand the language you know most people in italy just love speaking italian you know my friend you speak english no no a little a little arabic arabic oh this oh, no, oh you're not italian eh oh okay thank you <laughs> But anyway, I can see the pizzas here, like the margarita and uh, stuff like these ones. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I know this is the most Italian thing. The pizzas and the pastas, but everything else is written in Italian. Yeah. Anyways, we'll probably come back and say, I want margarita. I want margarita. That's enough. They would understand what that means. Yeah, but still, I'm not too hungry right now, so I think we'll start off with the first challenge of looking for national monuments so that we can see, yeah, wow, well, and especially that church. I know there's several of them, but we'll try and go and find the cathedral and then we go and see the beauty that is Milan, Italy. Kish my world, let's do this. Okay, okay guys, so I have arrived, just got off the Metro M3 and uh, wow, you wouldn't believe what is greeting me in this beautiful place. Look at this beauty, yeah man, this is it man. This is the beautiful cathedral here in Milan, the most iconic structure that you will see in this part of the building and it is so beautiful and as mag magnificent as I thought. Guys, honestly, when I was doing this uh, seven day challenge, I never really expected that this would be the beauty that is expecting and awaiting me. Yes, when I started doing those random uh, flights every day, who would have known that in a day like today, I would have been in the beautiful streets of Milan, enjoying these beautiful hills. Look at this lovely city. Oh my gosh, this entire place is so beautiful. And if I'm not wrong, this is actually the oldest church in uh, and the biggest church in italy so i am super excited to be here i'm so excited to be seeing this firsthand and there's so much italian delicacies i need to try you know i need to come and uh, try the food so but first of all the first checkpoint the first item on our list is to see a national monument which is this beautiful church here check done we have three challenges then we have to look for some Italian food and we also have to uh, food and dessert and we also have to to drink the national beer which I might just do in this square because it's so hot and uh, I might try it in this place and see look at all these lovely people enjoying the beautiful views tourists everywhere taking photos and the birds are walking freely on the ground without fearing anyone amazing yeah, so in this area, man, you can see that it is uh, filled, like on this side, we have the beautiful, you know, church, I don't know if you can see it well, the beautiful church, and on this side, we also have some stands, like the whole square is just made of these beautiful, beautiful buildings, even on the opposite side, as you can see, it's just filled with lovely, lovely Italian style, Gothic style buildings, what an absolute wonder, wow, look at that, yes. So actually I just got news that this is the largest gothic church, the second largest uh, in the world, the second largest gothic church with up to 30 something meters high, very very high, you know, and uh, the next one is like in Seville and it's uh, an awesome place for people to come and take photos, enjoy, there's also birds, you can come and have fun with the birds here, 
and uh, there's some people who are selling some seeds and when they do that the bugs come on top and then they start you know you see like these ones they come into your head and they get to feed off of you <laughs> two three four <laughs> yeah crazy that's uh, the hustle the hustle of some people you know yes and i've mostly realized it's our african brothers who are doing that hustle of those seeds because it's just mostly just them who is doing it here so oh i was sorry <laughs> i walked with somebody's picture wow lovely lovely milan You know guys most of the time when you come to such places like Italy and France and all these places that like, they seem so very luxurious for some people most Africans don't like being seen on video when they are doing their daily hustles because people back in Africa they think wow they are in Europe they're living the best life and everything so they don't like exposing what they do so that's why most of the people especially the black people they always feel like I don't know if it's embarrassed about the job they do but I think you should not be embarrassed. If it's bringing food to your table, you should just be proud of it. I think maybe it's because they probably lie to their families back at home that they are doing these huge, huge jobs in Europe, making a lot of money. But anyways, I respect it. Kiss my world. So guys, you might be wondering why there is so many people in this place but uh, apart from it being absolutely gorgeous and beautiful there is also a rumor that if you stand in this circle over here where there is like a lot of people you can see turning, ar turning around it says if you spin like that and you make a wish your wish will come true so you can see but you have to turn around counterclockwise so like uh, this one here. See the small girl is trying. Yeah, so you need to stand there and spin counterclockwise. But he's going the wrong way. So his wish would come true. <laughs> uh, that is the main point. Yeah guys, so I did it, I went there, I turned around and I made my wish. So let's see if the wish will come true. Actually it's not supposed to say the wish if you want it to come true. So unfortunately I can't tell you what I wished for, but that's what uh, legend has it. And actually I remember there's a wish that I made in uh, still here in, in, in Italy, in a different city in Rome, where you throw like some points when you close your eyes. And uh, that wish did come true, so sometimes they do work, I don't know. Yeah, they do work, so let's see if my next wish will come true. It's a big one, yeah, but I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, Kishmawal, I love this city so much. And uh, off she goes. Wow, I can officially say that I have tried uh, the oldest transport system in Milano, Italy also. Very nice, I like it. And I like that they still maintain even that old type of, you know, transport system here in Milan, Italy. Okay, let's go now and look for some traditional Italian food. What will it be? Pizza or pasta? Or is there any other recommendation? I don't know. Let's find out Kishma World. A few moments later.
guys it's crazy how the weather just switched from zero to 100 like it was so hot so nice so everything but now it looks as if a storm is about to brew up and i haven't even done my second and third challenge you know <laughs> yeah but it's still early so i decided to check back in the hostel the one that charged me five dollars to keep my bags and uh, now i'm going to go and have some lunch or, or you know late dinner early dinner late lunch and uh, drink a local beer and see if we can be able to manage to make that uh, challenge through then after that we will head into the airport and uh, just continue on with the rest of the day so let's look i decided to, i settled finally settled on uh, a pizza so i guess we're gonna do a traditional italian pizza and uh, there's a beer i told it's called moretti beer moretti so that's what we're gonna try and find before we move on wow it's so windy now man all right let me have some food then we rush to the airport wow so i've been walking in the rain hustling to come and find uh, this amazing italian restaurant that i saw online which is called uh, tutto gusto tutto gusto but guess what man it's closed after all this it's closed it's right over there across the streets tutto gusto they had really good reviews online and their food seemed really good but they're bloody closed oh now i've been rained on for nothing you know oh my gosh and it's so so much rain tutto gusto why are you closed oh i still can't believe it huh? yeah Whoa, if I knew, I would have done this challenge much earlier, much, much earlier. But yeah, here's the Tutto Gusto. They had a really nice menu, you know, but I don't know why it's closed. And it smells, it smells so good, man. It really smells so nice, but it is what it is. Oh man, guys, unfortunately, I failed my mission today. I had like, uh, <laughs> I had three things to do. I was supposed to go and see one monument, I was supposed to eat the local food here and also try the local beer there could still be hope for trying the local beer but uh, the food i found peruvian food yeah you know after i missed my italian restaurant i had to go into the next best place you know that i saw and i thought it was uh, somehow you know italian food but it was actually peruvian and i was like you know what let me just eat here so unfortunately the eating point uh, failed but uh, I, there's still hope for me taking uh, an Italian beer because I was supposed to try the local beer problem is uh, I ran out of time man I walked too much and enjoyed the city so much and I forgot to do all those things I should have done them early when I had the chance you know but we'll see maybe we can get uh, one beer to go uh, especially beer Moretti. that's the local beer here then we see how it goes. Otherwise, kish my world, we will have failed all three challenges. Yeah, guys, finally, success. I managed to get the Bira Moretti while on the go. Man, I'm still on the run, but I had to, I had to get it, you know. The rain is still pouring, but now it's a bit better. But at least we get to test the Bira Moretti, the original Italian beer. All right, so, Let's have the first test of Bira Moretti. Bira Moretti. Mm. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah. So this is my first test of Bira Moretti, the Italian beer. It's a 4.6% alcohol content. And it's kind of a sweet beer. So guys, we can finally say I've checked off all the boxes apart from eating Italian food, of course. But at least I made it in the other two. I managed to try the local beer and also uh, visit monuments. All right, thanks for watching the video of the day, guys. And uh, let's head over to the airport and see you tomorrow for the next adventure as we discover the next place we are traveling in this series. Take a guess where we are going. It's a country I've never been to before. But uh, yeah, check our wild guess in the comment section below and let's see where we are going. Seven day challenge, Kish my world. See you tomorrow.